Hello, I'm Angelina Meza and welcome to The Morning Show. We're finally getting some news regarding prom, and it's coming up fast. The theme for prom is Enchanted Forest, and the colors to dress in are green, gold, and brown. Prom will take place on Saturday, April 20th at the Knights of Columbus, so start making your plans now. Congratulations goes out to GHS student Cassandra Cardin. At the recent FCCLA state conference and competition, Cassandra won her event and qualified, qualified for nationals to be held in Seattle this summer. We will catch up with Cassandra soon to get her reaction to this, so stay tuned. Today marks the beginning of the registration for elective classes for next year. Forms will be distributed during your language arts classes to begin the process. Many classes require a teacher's signature like broadcasting, so make sure you get on this as soon as possible. I'm Daniel Chavez. And I'm Isaiah Ortega. And here's the sports rundown for today. The GHS boys basketball team earned the number eight seed in the upcoming state tournament, and they will host Silver City here at the port. It's the first home state game for the Pirates since the 2015-2016 season, so it's a huge accomplishment for Coach Lanny Chavez and his team. We have our crew working on a preview of this game, and we will get you that as soon as possible. The softball season continues tomorrow as the Lady Pirates host Española Valley for a single game. The Lady Pirates are 1-3 on this season with two losses to Mayamira and another to Rio Grande over the weekend. The Lady Pirates beat Rio Grande 13-8 in the first game of a doubleheader on Saturday to pick up their first win of the season. The GHS baseball team dropped a pair of games over the weekend to Powerhouse Volcano Vista. The Pirates nearly lost 12-11 in the first game of the twin bill before losing game to 16-6. The Pirates will host Gallo for a pair of games on Saturday, and we will have more from the Pirate baseball team on the morning show this week. So stay tuned, and back to you. Hello, I'm Larry Mayer. I'm here with Clemente Garcia. So my first question is, you probably aren't happy with you got your finish at state, but how do you feel about going to state? Um, I feel really good about going to state, especially since it's my first year of wrestling. I've, I feel really accomplished for my first year, and this year I'm just going to work harder to get a higher placing next year. Well, Hopefully okay. win. Okay, that's cool. What was your mindset like at state when you were wrestling? My mindset in state was don't get pinned, mainly. Okay, that's good that was my main goal. That was a good mindset. What was your goal this year, and did you accomplish your goal? Yes, I did accomplish my goal. My goal is going to state. Okay. How did you accomplish the goal? I accomplished the goal by working really hard in practice, okay. like trying to push myself past my limits and getting better every day, and learning from my mistakes. That's pretty good. Learning from mistakes is really important. Next year, it's your senior year. What are you hoping to accomplish next year? And. Next year for wrestling, I I hopefully want to accomplish like get to go to state again. I want to win regionals and try to get top two in state. That's a good accomplishment. Well, there you have it, guys. And I'm here with Coach Landon today, and today we're going to be asking the question. So, growing up, whenever you would go to a relative's or friend's house, what is one thing that you thought of that they were rich? Well, unfortunately, I didn't have a whole lot of rich friends, but I was rich in um, my friendship with them. Nonetheless, when I'd walk in and you have to take off your shoes before you walk in, you know they're rich. Because their floors are way too nice to mess up. Yes, thank you. Hey everyone, we're here with Nikki and today we're going to be asking her a random question. So when you were growing up and you would go to somebody's house, what's the first thing that you would see that would make you think they're rich? I think the refrigerator that had two doors, like the, the split one. Not the top and the bottom freezer, but the ones that would both open up. That way, we never had those. That's I a good answer. I was real upset about it too. <laughs> I have one now. <laughs> I have a really one good now. answer. Okay, thank you. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, we are GHS for success. success.